Hey, this is Chris of Chris Mini, and this is my 1250 list for the battle here. It's part of the Relic War, and this is in Warzone Harat. And in this scenario, there's three objectives, and they're worth different points for each faction. For my side, the red is worth three, the black is worth two, and the green is worth one. We'll see what's worth what for my opponent at the end. We only get three turns finished, however. So here we are at deployment. It's a crazy mission. I'm not sure what objectives he needs to get. I know which one I need to get. They're worth different points for different players. And it's my turn, so I'm going to keep this short. There's a wave serpent that you can barely see there. So after the first turn, no first blood. Big Bird came over, shot into the command squad, but his commander's still alive, and she got the six plus feel no pain. The Vindicator shot at the blob squad, and I believe did a couple wounds, but cover really saved. The Havoc launcher shot. Oh, I have to roll for uh, leadership. Oh. And then. The sorcerer on the disc of each puppet mastered his hellhound, which was pretty awesome. But so leadership for command. She fails. She off the table? Nope, she made it by like a so, of an inch. Almost off the table. I'll be back uh, probably beginning and run game turn. So, here we are, what is this? Bottom of two, I just went on my second turn. Uh, the Lord of Change dodged a lot of flack, used uh, some of the reroll trips you were using today to keep them alive. Um, all my reserves came in with Scryer's Gaze. I wasn't able to kill anything. First blood's still out, and we're going. Yeah, I'll be back after that. All right. After three turns, we have to call it due to time constraints. No. Oh. And sadly, we had to call it after three turns. But the Eldar and Guard got that objective, and that objective. That the green one was worth three for them. They contested the red, which was worth three for me. Um, finally, at the top of three, I got first blood, but in the bottom of three, he did kill Big Bird. So, sadly, we got to end it. Kill point wise, it was 2 1, not that it mattered. Um, he won the game 4 to 1 based on objectives, and it's lunchtime. Unfortunately, we did have to end after three turns. Um, turn one started great for me. Sorcerer cast Puppet War on his Hellhound, which was awesome. Um, I was a little intimidated by the Wraith Lord in the center, and I think I should have been a little more aggressive there. The Lord of Change uh, probably should have used its last wound to try and take out the bike squad that came on in his second turn, since I knew they were going to grab an objective at the end. And by the end, my sorcerer was running away with one wound um, to prevent the Warlord kill. Had this gone on, I feel like he still would have won the game. Big thanks for Gothmos Gaming Group for putting this event together. You can check them out at g3santacruz.com. In conjunction with the 40K Fight Club, you can visit their site, 40kfightclub.com. And we played at Endgame in Old Oakland. Visit their site, endgameoakland.com. And thanks for watching.